Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is the presentation one of Principles of Chemistry 1 presented to Dr. Hamad Majid. And I am Zainab Irfan from BSPT 10 and my holding ID is 2001023120. And this is the overview of my presentation uh, as it is, uh, as you said that it is the content of my presentation. Then and my topic is rubidium. What is rubidium? I'll explain later in whole presentation. So first of all, we will see what is the history of rubidium. Rubidium was discovered by two German chemists. They were observing the spectrum of mineral uh, lipidolite as it burned. The spectrum of the rubidium show of two dark red lines. The scientists named the new, uh, newly discovered alkali metal rubidium after the Latin word for deep red. Rubidium was extracted from the surrounding material by electrolysis. And the definition of rubidium, what is rubidium? Rubidium is a very soft, silvery white metal in the alkali metal group. Rubidium metal shares similarities to the potassium metal and the cesium metal in physical appearance, softness, and conductivity. Rubidium cannot be stored under the atmospheric oxygen as a high exothermic reaction, sometimes even resulting in metal catching fire. Rubidium is very first alkali metal in a group to have a density higher than water, so it sinks unlike the metal above in the group. So here is some discussion about rubidium, atomic number, atomic weight, and electronic configuration, how it is dried and, can, and its uh, structure and its physical state is solid, and it is strongly basic in nature. And uh, here are some physical and thermal properties of rubidium. Its density, molar volume, melting point, boiling point, critical temperature, and uh, presence of ro uh, room temperature. So here are some uh, values of the rubidium. And next, atomic and orbital properties of rubidium, atomic number, number of electrons, number of protons, mass number, number of neutrons, shell uh, structure, electronic configuration, valence electron, oxidation number, all are written here. And next, we will discuss about isotopes. How many isotopes of rubidium are? There are 29 isotopes of rubidium, but the naturally occurring are two, rubidium-85 and rubidium-87. Rubidium-85 is very stable in nature and 27.15 abundant in nature. And rubidium 87 is 27.85 abundant in nature, present in nature. And the natural rubidium is very active with sufficient activity to expose photographic film within 110 days. Next, we will see some reactions of rubidium with other elements. First reaction of rubidium with oxygen. So rubidium, uh, as we discussed before, rubidium is very soft and easily cut able uh, element. The resulting surface is bright and shiny. However, the surface soon tarnish because the reaction or with oxygen and moisture from the air. If the rubidium is burned in air, the result is mainly formation of rubidium superoxide. And here is the chemical formula of rubidium superoxide. And second reaction is rubidium with uh, rubidium reaction with water. Rubidium metal react very rapidly with water to form colorless solution of rubidium hydroxides and hydrogen gas. The resulting solution is basic because of the dissolved hydroxides. The reaction is very exothermic. Reaction is so fast. If the reaction is carried out in the glass vessels, the glass container may be well sheltered. The reaction, this reaction is slower than the cesium, but faster, faster than the potassium. And the chemical formula is written below. And the sec, uh, third reaction we discussed here is reaction of rubidium with acid. 
rubidium metal dissolved radially in dilute sulfuric acid to form the solution containing equated rubidium ion together with hydrogen gas. And the chemical formula is also written in this slide. Next, the key properties of the rubidium. It is the second most electropositive metal. It is very soft and silvery metal, highly inflammable, mildly re radioactive, and vigorously react with water and combine with halogens. Compounds. Rubidium chloride is probably the most used compound. It is used in induced living cells to take up DNA. It is also used as a biomaker because in nature it is found only in small quantities in living organisms and when present replaces potassium. Rubidium, other common rubidium compounds are the corrosive rubidium hydroxide, the starting material from the rubidium-based chemical processes. Rubidium carbonate used in some optical glasses and rubidium copper sulfate, sulfate rubidium sulfur iodide, has the highest room temperature conductivity of any known ion crystal. Next, we have bondings. What type of bond is present in rubidium and what type of bond rubidium form? Be uh, rubidium form ionic bonding because it has only the one electron in its outermost shell and it and can easily lose its electron. In fact, rubidium is one of the most electropositive element in a periodic table, meaning that it can easily lose its electron. Ionic bonding occur when one and uh, another element forms a compound by taking this electron away completely. Next, abundance of rubidium in nature. Here is a graph. Uh, where all the uh, values are written in uh, this uh, abundance in universe, abundance of rubidium in sun, earth, crust, ocean, humans. And here are some applications of rubidium. Rubidium and its salts have commercial uses. The metal is used in manufacture of photocells, removal of residues, used in glasses, ceramics, fireworks, and in also used in iron engines and also as a gator in vacuum tubes. It also used as a working fluid in a vapor turbine in as of also used in photocell component. It rubidium and also used uh, for the production of superoxides by the burning in oxygen. F uh, now we will discuss what are the sources of rubidium, how we will get rubidium from where we will get. The element is much more abundant than that was thought several years ago. It is now considered to be the 16th most abundant element in the earth crust. And the rubidium occur in ma uh, many traces up to the 1% uh, to form the oxides. Potassium minerals such as those found in cellulase lakes, California, potassium chloride recovered from the brines and uh, also contains the element and our commercial sources. Now, and now the, in, we will discuss about natural abundance. What, is the natural abundance of rubidium. Rubidium occurs in mineral polycite, carnelite, leucite, and lepidolite. It recovered commercially from lepidolite as byproduct in lithium extraction. Potassium minerals and barines also contain rubidium and are another commercial sources. These are the references from where I get my data and make slides. And thank you so much. That's all about my topic.